What are you making? Rental's last meal. <laughs> Why you say last meal like you about to die? That's how I feel. Oh, come on. What is that? Ice cream. Ice cream cake? No, just ice cream. It's a cake, you retard? It's not, it's just ice cream. But it's shaped like a cake? Yeah, who cares? It's ice cream. And this is his last meal? Mm-hmm. Till like 3 o'clock after you get his thing. You think he eat after that? They cut his fucking throat open, Louis. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, what's it? Okay. <laughs> Somebody already seen it. She made. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Because I love you. What is that? Figure it out. I cool them. Ich weiß nicht. Sit her in her chair. It is a cool them. Is that what you doing? What am I doing? We have to go now. You ready? Hello? Come on, let's go get your shoes. How shoes? Can you be any faster? Put them on! So guys, today is the day. Um, if you guys check out the vlog before last by clicking here, then you can see um, Lorenzo was in the hospital for about four days. And we said there that he has to go back in two weeks to get a surgery on his throat. And guess what? Today is that day. So we are getting ready. Right, Lorenzo? Talk. Yeah. We are getting ready and we are... Huh? Yes, sir. Perfect. So we are getting ready and we are heading to the hospital because today is the day that Lorenzo gets his surgery. And hopefully everything goes good and we can leave there tomorrow because they say if everything goes good, then he only has to spend the night there and we can leave tomorrow. So I am so I am prepared to be there tonight with him. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> say see you at the hospital. You live. What? <laughs> you are at the hospital. This may be a little overpacking, but I have everything I could possibly need. I have my own blanket, my own pillow, a um, three plug extension cord, my tablet, my phone charger, my camera charger, my bullet journal, my homework, my laptop, um, three pair of clothes. Who knows what happens? So it might be a little bit overpacking, but I was always told to, if you fail to prepare, then you prepare to fail. And it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. We're about to head to the hospital, which is about an hour away, and we'll get there, and I'll see you guys when we are there and let you guys know what's happening. A little bit cold? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Like a cold yesterday. Yeah? Like a day in the Huh. This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 We made it to the hospital and now we're about to go check in and see what time he actually gets this um, operation and hopefully get a room and all that good stuff. checking in and now we have to sit and just wait. What are we waiting on? I guess to get his IVs. Oh, to get his IVs and all that type of stuff. What did you build? This. What? This. What is it? This. Ah, uh -huh, it goes across, right? Yes. Cool. 
While waiting, we decided to build a um, ramp and have some and have some fun while we wait. How are you? What does that mean? Not good. Why? Why? Huh? Why? Why what? Because they cut open my son's throat. That's why. So Lorenzo got his bed and he's in his gown and they're about to put him to sleep because he's about to have his surgery now. Andre? What? Open up your shirt and show them what, what kind of shit you got on. Why is this that is the shirt? shirt that she wore. Bitch, please, I ride a unicorn. So, go stay bitches here. You all right, Lorenzo? <laughs> you don't think that's in a, in a appropriate? I'm more than you sitting there with a the camera. Bruh. They came and put him to sleep in front of us. And now? And now he gets this operation. And we have to wait, right? Yep. They just gave Lorenzo some narcotics that put him to sleep like like that and I've never seen somebody go to sleep so fast but now he's getting his operation which we have no idea how long it's going to take or whatever but we're just walking around now waiting to get the call that he's done and go back and see him and hear what happened. Why are you so angry today? Fucked up my whole day. I fucked up my your whole day. My son getting his throat cut off. And yeah. And people are assholes. That's why. Or are you the asshole? Mm. The pregnancy hormones. Sure, everything is pregnancy. It is. I'm hungry because you're pregnant. <coughs> I'm not hungry because you're pregnant. I'm happy because you're pregnant. I'm not happy because you're pregnant. Two hours later. So guys, it's two hours later and we just got the call that Lorenzo is awake and we're going to go check on him now to see how everything went. Andrea was kind of stressing out, right? Hello? Yeah. Why? Because what? It, took it didn't take too long. They probably ain't even start yet. But anyway, we're going to go check on him now. <laughs> So we got back to the room and now Lorenzo was just laying in the room um, waiting for the narcotics to wear off. He still, he still seems a little groggy but he's waking up slowly and hopefully in a, like 30 minutes it should be done with and he can um, fully wake up and be Lorenzo again. What'd you say? Lorenzo what? Lorenzo? Lorenzo? What do you want? I should wear your head. Good. Hmm? I said I wanted to wear it. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. We slept, and hopefully, Lorenzo is able to go home today. So let's wait for the doctor and see if he's able to go home. You want to go home, right? You don't want to go home? Why not? It's because what? Because you love what? Me. You love me? Yeah. Yeah, I want to go home. But I don't, I don't want to go home. Why not? Because, because here is so warm. Here is so warm? Mm -hmm. you, we got heat at home, bro. Mm -mm. Yes, we do. Uh -huh. His roommate. This is Lorenzo's room.
I was waiting on breakfast and waiting on the doctor and Andrea should be here in a few hours and hopefully we all can go home together because I don't want to stay another night in this hospital. I fucking hate this hospital. The lady, the um, mother from the roommate, the mother from the roommate from Lorenzo is a straight, I don't even know what to say. I'll tell you about that later. Like it's amazing what she's doing to this little boy and yeah. So hopefully we get to eat soon and we get to go home soon because I need to go home. I want to go home. That's where they did the surgery at. There, and then they have this tube thing that's letting all the stuff leak out that's left over. Um, hopefully, it's not leaking out too. Move your hand. Hopefully, it's it's not leaking out too much because then that means that we can go home. And we're still waiting on the doctor. Lorenzo's roommate is a three-year-old little boy and his mother left yesterday right after he went to sleep like around 7 and it's now 9 a.m. the next morning and she still and she still has not showed up which I'm not trying to put her on blast or anything I just think it's kind of fucked up because the first thing they told us is that any child under six has to be with a parent at all times because the nurses don't have time to be entertaining the, the kid and doing all that that's the parents the parents job so I am Pulling double duty because I think it's fucked up just to leave a little boy. What? I think it's messed up for the little boy just to be laying in the bed by himself. So me and Lorenzo are playing with family and trying to keep him busy until his mother decides to show up whenever she does show up. Hello. Papa. Hmm? Beep beep. Hello. The doctor just came by and pretty much checked him and said um, that he can leave tomorrow, which means we have to spend another night in the hospital, which I did not want to do, but what can I do about it now? So, what are you doing? So yeah, Andrea's on her way now, and I just figure I'll stay here because there's no point in driving home for three hours just to come back. 20 minutes later. So the mama is here now. The mama. The mama. Mama, yeah. you don't make me a head. Hi, Mama. Yes, so, your son has to stay another night. Yeah. Mama, The funny thing is that this little boy keep calling me Papa, so I don't know what his mother's going to say when she shows up and he calls me Papa, but I think it's funny. Six and a half hours later. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got. What are you doing? We got bored and we decided to go exploring, right? So let's go find some stuff. Okay? Peace out. What's that? A man. Oh. Ready to keep going? Let's go. Lorenzo had to take a pee break. Once he's finished, we're gonna get back to the exploring. Are you finished? Yeah, Papa. Can I open up the door? Yes. You're not naked, are you? Okay. Papa? Huh? What kind of naked room? There, on the wall. Where are the Here. 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 Yep. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Back to exploring. You gotta wash your hands, right? Oh, you can't do that. Uh, other hand too. Okay, that's good. Come on. Ready? Should we go here or should we go here?
It is dinner time now, and this is what we get for dinner, which is bread, cheese, and lunch meat. And Andrea pointed it out that I know you guys can't speak German, but here, look at this. It says pig free meat because obviously we're Muslim. Are you Muslim? Oh, my name is Aisha. Oh, who cares? I don't like pig meat anyway. Can you eat like a normal person, bro? <clears throat> they just have to be careful. All right. Hmm? Lorenzo, he losing his mind. And she letting them do it. You just have to be careful. All right. Maybe we terrorists. That's crazy! You ready to go home? I don't want to go home. You don't want to go home? Why? Huh? Look at me. You don't want to go home? Mm -mm. I do. I know. You don't miss all your sisters? Huh? Yeah. You don't miss mama? Yes. You don't miss your bed? Yeah. So then it sounds like you want to go home. Good morning guys, today is day number three and we just got done eating breakfast and now we're in the playroom and Lorenzo's doing a little bit of playing and I'm doing a little bit of schoolwork and we are waiting on the doctor to hopefully hear that Lorenzo can go home because I've been here three days straight with Lorenzo, haven't even left the hospital and I am pretty much tired of this now. I mean, he's happy, he doesn't have any pain, right? Do you hurt? Huh? Do you have pain? You have pain? Yeah. Where? No. You lying. So, he doesn't have any pain, and I think we can go home. But I'm not a doctor, so hopefully the doctor comes by soon and tells us that we can leave because, like I said, I'm ready to go. The doctor just came, and he took out the thing from um, Lorenzo's throat, and he said that Lorenzo can go home. So we're waiting for them to give us all the paperwork that he needs, and he will have to take some antibacterial medicine for the next week. But we're about to head home. We're just waiting on Andrea to come pick us up. Two hours later. I don't know how long mommy's gonna take, right? Mm -hmm. Are you happy to leave? Yeah, good. Can we no to our doctor? Can we get the fuck out of here now? Sure. Go. Drive. He's stripped in? Yes, drive. Are you stressing? Fuck me, I'm stressed. I've been here for three hours, for for three days. Yeah, this ten minutes don't kill you now. Yeah, the last two two days was killing me. So guys, that's the end of this vlog. Um, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And it's, what the fuck is your problem? Why you look like that? Like what? <laughs> like you, what the fuck are you doing? What am I doing? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until the next vlog, fuck. Vlog. The full camp. Until the next vlog, peace out. Peace out.